Last week we built a compost bin and now it's time to fill it up. But unfortunately I don't have enough composting material so I need to be creative. Follow me and find out how I filled my compost bin. The first thing I did is to clear my organic waste from the kitchen and clear the wood pallet stove from all the ashes. But this wasn't enough. So I went in the place where you can find unlimited quantities of material for composting. The forest. In all seasons you can find all kinds of organic material in different stages of composting. This is good, because the material that is already decomposing is contaminated with the microbes that promote composting. This will kickstart your compost pile. In this time of the year there were a lot of leaves fallen from last autumn. The top layer was bone dry and easy to collect. But as you can see, the bottom layer was moist and starting to decompose. In the end after composting it should look like this. Nice, soft, rich in plant nutrition and organic material that will feed your plants and retain moisture like nothing else. In the end I ended with a pile of kitchen scrap and wood ash, a pile of grass cuts from last year a pile of leaves and finally my secret ingredient, worms, yes, worms. They, in combination with the microbes that I brought from the forest will work wonders in my compost pile. Later in the video I will tell you why are worms the secret ingredient that you'll need. Do you have a secret ingredient when composting? If so, please tell me in the comments what it is. Now with all the components in place, I was almost ready to make my compost lasagna. I call it that because I spread the materials in layers, like I would be doing a lasagna. Oh, and I almost forgot, you need water, lots of it. The worms love it and also the microbes can live and reproduce in a dry place. So let's the fun begin! It's best to put your ingredients in layers so they mix well. I put a layer of greens, two layers of browns, add some water and mix. Then I repeated this process until the compost bin was full. To determine what greens and browns are, the best advice I can give you is that greens are living and browns had died. So freshly cut leaves, grass or coffee grounds are considered a good source of greens. On the other hand, dried leaves, straw and sawdust are considered browns. A good non-vegetation source of nitrogen is aged manure and fur, which you can find on your local farm. Some other alternatives for the carbon part are cardboard, paper towel, wood ashes and wood chips. And what about the worms you are asking? Worms are great because they eat all the organic material you will put in your compost pile, helping to break it down. Their poop, so called worm castings, is considered the gardener's black gold. The worm casting has a lot of nutrition for the plant and beneficial microbes that will speed the process of composting even more. Now depending on how in a hurry you are, you will turn your compost pile accordingly. You don't need to turn it every day. But if you want your pile to be composted a little bit faster, turn it once a week. If the weather is dry, to keep the pile moist, water it from time to time. 
So that's it. That's how you start composting. Leave me a comment if you're composting and tell me what's your main material for your compost pile. If you like this video, please smash that like button and subscribe for my channel for more informative videos about gardening. The quest just started and I'm so excited how my garden will grow. See you next week!